Welcome to Chapter 3 of our story, where the Winter Solstice Festival sets the stage for a night filled with mystery and anticipation. The town square is alive with festive lights and the towering evergreen stands proudly at its center. The townsfolk, wrapped in warm woolen clothes, move like shadows against the backdrop of an ominous ice sculpture. Join us as we delve into the heart of this chilling tale, where unspoken truths and ancestral spirits await. Stay tuned to Storyteller for the unfolding events of this captivating chapter. The night of the Winter Solstice Festival arrived with a palpable energy that crackled in the air. Lila Hartman stood at the edge of the town square, her heart racing in sync with the flickering lights that adorned the towering evergreen. Her bright green eyes were fixed on the ice sculpture, a haunting figure that seemed to pulse with a life of its own, beckoning her closer. Beside her, Eli Thompson shifted uneasily. His tousled brown hair caught the wind, and his warm hazel eyes darted around, absorbing the festive chaos while wrestling with the skepticism that had long defined him. Are you sure about this, Lila? He asked, his voice barely above a whisper, as if speaking too loudly might shatter the fragile veil of hope that hung over them. Lila turned to Eli, her expression resolute. We have to confront them, Eli. The spirits are waiting for us. They need to be heard. Jenna Parker, her curly auburn hair bouncing with each determined step, joined them, her striking blue eyes reflecting a newfound strength. I can feel them, Lila. They're here, just beyond the surface. We can't ignore them any longer. As the trio approached the ice sculpture, the air thickened with tension. Mayor Collins, a stout man with graying hair and sharp features, stood nearby, his commanding presence casting a long shadow over the gathering. He watched Lila with narrowed eyes, his expression a mix of concern and authority. This is a festival, not a seance, Lila, he barked, his voice cutting through the laughter like a knife. You're stirring up trouble that doesn't need to be stirred. But Lila felt the pull of the past, the whispers of ancestors long gone urging her forward. The ice sculpture began to glow, a soft luminescence that illuminated the faces of the townsfolk their expressions shifting from joy to apprehension. In that moment, the festival faded into the background, the laughter and music becoming a distant echo. The world narrowed to the three of them, standing before the ice sculpture, the embodiment of their town's dark history. Lila, Eli, and Jenna stood united, ready to face the unknown, their hearts pounding in unison as they prepared to confront the spirits of their ancestors. Lila took a deep breath, feeling the weight of her grandmother's stories pressing down on her, and stepped forward, ready to embrace the truth that had long been buried beneath layers of ice and silence. The glow of the sculpture cast an eerie light on their faces, and the air was thick with anticipation. What secrets would be revealed? What truths would come to light? Stay with us as we continue this journey into the heart of the unknown.